<laughs> so in the past few days, I have shared on uh, many things in breeding and history and so forth. What do you guys think? Want to share? Yes, I, I can share. Uh, yes, uh, the, 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 the videos you, you have uh, shared the, the last few days, they were yeah, clear to me and uh, should be clear to all of us or to, to the people uh, who are watching your videos. And um, it is clear without breathing, there is no fighting, no sparring and breathing like you um, have mentioned the videos before, there are two parts or two, two types of breathing. We have the, the healthy part and then we have the fighting part, which they differ, differ completely. And um, yes, they're both Im Im important. And uh, yes, it's clear to me. I mean, um, it should be also clear to the people outside there. History wise, what do you think? History wise, um, Yes, if we compare history wise, um, I, the, 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 it's, it's a mess, it's, it's just a mess. If you, if you compare it, the, the, the past, like you say, the past 140 years, nobody talked about breeding. They, they all talk about mystical stuff, magic and uh, fudging and all that stuff. And, um, and that they forgot the, 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 the most or that had, have forgotten the most important thing, which is the breathing. And um, if you just watch the, the videos uh, of so-called, I just call them so-called grandmasters, who, who um, for example, the Tai Chi guy who holds a bird, uh, you know, in, in his hand and the, the, the bird is not able to fly away and all that stuff, this is not realistic. And um, yes, and history wise in Kung Fu, it's just a mess and it's, uh, yeah, it's sad. It's really sad. And um, yes, I don't know what to say because uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a sad, a sad story. And uh, they, 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 I don't understand why people want just magic and don't face reality and uh, you know people outside there don't be scared it's, it's just something which is natural and um, try it out try to fix your kung fu which is really important and uh, yes and uh, just we, we want to get better this is the 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 goal of hendrik this is not he's not attacking anybody he just wants us to to be as a family and, uh, and not my Wing Chun, your Wing Chun, my interpretation, your interpretation. There are so many interpretations let out me, there. Let, and, me, uh, let, me, yes. let me let me answer this. I'm here yes. not to even play any role. I just want to- No, 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 no. His story, yes. right? So I just yes. want to tell. Yes. I want to say his, his story. Nimjo, yes. do you have any anything to share? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, History-wise, uh, it's it's clear if 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 the Shaolin teaching, which is hundreds of years old, is saying that you know we train the internal basically through breathing, and we train the external, uh, we train the joints, we train uh, the sinews, we train the muscles, we train the bones, the skin. It can't be more clear than that. Uh, what more explanation do you need? I mean, that's really basic level understanding of things um so why we get to now this level of like people wanting over the last 100 years or even modern times people want uh a more mystical a more spiritual explanation is because uh, uh i don't know maybe they're missing something in their life i don't know but you know, even in modern psychological treatments, they take a lot, they're using a lot of influence in the 60s and 70s from Buddhist breathing uh, to calm anxiety problems and these kind of things. So, so in the health part, uh, which has really been avoided in Wing Chun, the, the recovery part, um, it's, 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 it's really important. And then of course, 
if it's a fighting art, how can you not teach breathing if you're if you're fighting? It seems crazy, you know. It seems uh, why would you prefer to teach something mystical about the astral plane? or the spiritual plane and me feeling the energy of someone, which is something which is not verifiable, why would you prefer to do that? And the only answer I can have is that people, people actually desire to, to have these uh, mystical things in their life because it seems more entertaining or, or less boring for them, requires more imagination and less work, you know? <laughs> That's really what I think. Um, so, you know, externally train the, uh, the, the, the bone, sinews, and muscle, internally train the breathing, okay? In today's language, do you know what is it? Let me share with you. So once for all, we want to nail this down in a scientific way, not Hendrick way, not interpretations, okay? Because what good is that every wing tuner going down and you pay the money, you pay the time. If you really want to study martial arts, you need to get results. Otherwise, you're wasting your life, wasting your time, wasting everything you invest. Externally trained, boom, sinews and muscle internally trained uh, breathing is just in today's language you need to have muscular strength and muscular endurance and you need to have breathing the 360 degree breathing and you need to have a core stability which is of course you need to handle your uh, intra-abdominal pressure. It's just simple that way, okay? Don't tell me any Xiu Lim Tao, this and that and add all this, whatever. If you cannot do that, if your Xiu Lim Tao do not develop muscular endurance, muscular strength, your VO2 max, your uh, breathing, and uh, your uh, core stability, you know that what you practice is just a ritual or an exercise. It have no martial art or ancient Chinese Kung Fu or internal Kung Fu content. So that's why I say that There is no such thing as Hendrix interpretations. Your muscular endurance, your muscular, your cardio, uh, your, your, your muscular strength. Measure it, okay? You need to develop that. So it is not about Hendrik, okay? It is about if you don't have those, and this is your VO2 max. So cardio, uh, the, the muscular endurance, muscular strength, this is your cardiorespiratory endurance and ability, which is VO2 max. This is for your recovery, your heart rate, your breathing rate, okay? This is your intra-abdominal pressure, which is handling your core stability. If you don't have you, that, you cannot move. Handle your, your, your cardio, you cannot move. If you don't have the breathing, you cannot breathe, okay? So,
if we don't have that, forget about your Xiu Lim Tao. Let's talk in, in, in scientific terms. Muscular endurance, muscular strength. VO2 max, your cardiorespiratory uh, 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 strength, uh, uh, endurance. Your capability to recover, which is uh, your, uh, your, your heart rate, your, your respiration rate going down, you'll be able to breathe 360 degree. Your uh, intra-abdominal pressure, which is you need to move. If your Shulim Town do not train that, you know you're living in a ritual or an exercise. It got nothing to do with ancient Chinese martial art. It got nothing to do with fighting art. The thing what I just tell you scientifically, you go to MMA, you go to Western boxing, you go to Olympic judo, everybody have that number on. You want to face an army like that? Okay. So, does Wing Chun ancient have it? Sure. So Wing Chun ancient is par with even today's uh, BJJ, MMA, Thai boxing, Western boxing, Judo Olympic training. Even in the Siulim Tao itself, you have to develop that. Or else, what are you doing? What, what is the point you do, Shulim Tao? Can you recover? Can you develop your breathing and your, your core stability? Don't tell me about all this mind power, your structure, your uh, spine lifting anus. What is that got to do with mobility and the muscular endurance and your cardiorespiratory endurance, your breathing and your core stability. What people are using that in their fight? Preparations. Okay? So, 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 so you know, let, let's get down bottom line, okay? Not, not bullshitting each other, right? Because this is science. This is uh, historical evidence. And the bottom line is that you need to know, or else what are you doing? Now, as in the history, I want to share with you something. Because uh, these days, we know that uh, war broke out, right? And then uh, we heard so many sad stories. Well, war always is a sad thing. Right? I mean, you know, everybody have home. This regard our who, okay? We hope that everybody be able to live properly. So uh, I read something in the forum, in one of Wing Chun forums, and uh, I decided to share this with you, which is related to Wing Chun history. I was studying Wing Chun history big time decades ago. And when I stumbled into this, I get depressed, sad, really, really sad. So what I read in the forum on the Wing Chun, on the war and everything uh, evoke my thinking and I decided to share with you this. So I was studying the uh, Wing Chun 1850, the Red Boat ancestor, they are joined with the Taiping to fight the Qing, right? History, right? So that is a general name is Suda Kai. Suda Kai is a very good guy. Okay, he's a, a, a leader. Okay, so he's uh, one of the, the, the most highly uh, respected reader in the typing revolution. Okay, he is, uh, he is for the people. He's for the people. And if you look at that, he died at uh, 32 years old. Okay? So what happened is, Suda Kai in a war, somehow that uh, uh, 
when the 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 uh, they try to cross a river, okay, and the main army arrive and the furious flood suddenly make the river impossible to, to, to cross. So several attempts and uh, were made with heavy losses and the army were running out of ra uh, rations. So uh, the Qing army is following. So what happened? On the 13th of June, Sita Kai go negotiate with the Qing to spare his man's life if he turned himself in, okay? So this is what I respect the most, okay? Hey, don't, don't, don't uh, spare my man, let my man go home. You take me, I'm the bad guy, okay? So he went to the Qing camp with the three follower, spoke with the Qing, <clears throat> and he was questioned and uh, in prison, sentenced, executed by slow slicing, meaning that they cut you about 3,000 cut. They have to cut you about like a thousand or 3,000 cut to purposely make you die after the 3,000 cut or 1,000 cut, okay? So uh, that's how he is. And uh, so uh, his enemy record that through the entire torture execution, she did not flinch. Never once cry out in pain, okay? He was 32 years old. After his death, 40 men who is not following him, uh, who is, uh, do not have the weapon, was re uh, released. And actually, when he wanted to go to the sea, the Qing, you know, there are 6,000 people there. And then 4,000, he, he let them go. And the 2,000 who have uh, go with him into the Qing, who have some weapon, all executed. So the Qing did that. Okay, Qing promised him, right? But end up execute the people. His son, five year old. Sri Kai's son, five year old. You know how he was executed? She was executed. Five year old kids. They put lime on his nose so he, he died suffocated. Well, reading this, I'm pissing off big time, okay? Now, we like it or not, typing got to do with the uprising. And this is one of the founder of Trial A5, okay? So over here, you know that Trial A5 and Sita Kai, they are really close. Okay, so this is his story. Okay, so this is uh, his story. And we know the Wing Chun salutation and the Chai Le Fat, the salutation, the words, the poem is our identity at that time. Wing Chun is with the red boat fighting the Qing and Chai Le Fat is our brothers fighting the Qing, okay? So this is our salutations in the red boat. And uh, only days, uh, weeks ago or months ago, I just wrote an article on the six point half pole. So you have seven poems to record the real Wing Chun six and half pole. We have the poem today, okay? The last one is said, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, six point. And this is the last point. The last point saying that half middle spear settle the typing, typing, like the typing librarian. So the last one meaning that the last pole, the, 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 the half point of Wing Chun pole settle, helping settle China. In the in, in the in the meaning, okay. So so we are with the Taiping, okay. Now let's look into this. In Wing Chun today, you can see you always see this kinds of uh, of uh, of uh, uh, what do you call it? 
family trees, right? Oh, GC, Mui, whatever, go to uh, Rick Jung Opera, Leong Yi Tai, Leong Zhan, Wang Wa Po, Dai Fa Ming Kam, Po Po Chin, and this is uh, Feng Siu Ching. Okay? And then you always can read Feng Siu Ching, spread the Kung Fu of Red Boats. And Sun Kam, which is Dai Fa Ming Kam, brought uh, opera costume for the member of the Red Boat. And after a year of probation, Feng Xiu Ching proved worthy to learn from Sam Kam. Okay, this is all. Feng Xiu Ching immediately wanted to pass the tea of Sam Kam, you know, all this Tai Fa Ming Kam, uh, to steal the student, you know, like, uh, however, Sam Kam turned him down and all this kind of stuff, right? So you can read about that. It is uh, on the Tai Fa Ming Kam and the Feng Xiu Ching, right? Now let's look into this. Let's look into this. This is Feng Xiu Cheng. His boss is Luo Bin Zhang. His boss here is Luo Bin Zhang. So who is Lord Bin Zhang? Lord Bin Zhang is a Qing officer. So this is Lord Bin Zhang. Okay. You know who the hell he is? Luo Bin Zhang is the guy who sent the, uh, what do you call that, the talk with the Sutta Kai in 1862, uh, 1863. Okay, so the representative of the Qing is Luo Bin Zhang's people. Okay, so Lord, Lord Bin Zhang sent his people. To, to, to negotiate with a Sutta Kai. Okay? Now, how the hell is that he is a uh, 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 Wing Chun? How the hell is uh, uh, Feng Xiu Cheng is Wing Chun? How the hell is Dai Fa Ming Kam teaching a traitor? Look at how they kill a uh, uh, Shida Kai and eating their words that don't they don't spare the the the, the, the army and kill the son of a uh, the, the five old year old son of uh, of of Shida Kai. Do you think that is a uh, a uh, what you call that a, a red boat Wing Chun people? That's why they don't have salvation. It's bullshit. Okay. I never get emotional. But with this, I get very emotional. You promise people, Sita Kai saying, okay, it's, it's my fault. I give myself out. You want to kill, say, 10 people close to Sita Kai, this, I, I have no problem. Like the, the, the war prisoner, I have no problem. You kill 2,000 of them, five-year-old kids. You keep them that way. Today's COVID. People die in COVID is tough enough. Imagine a five year old, imagine it's your son or your, people, your, your family's member's son get killed that way. So you want me to swallow this bullshit on Tai Fa Ming Kam and Feng Xiu Cheng? Well, sorry. Anybody like a Tai Fa Ming Kam teaching Feng Xiu Cheng, that I don't think they are, they are, they are, they are from the Red Boat. Okay? How could it be? How could it be historically? So I think uh, uh, is this guy is going to kill all the 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 uh, the, the, the uh, Wing Chun ancestor in the red boat too? So why do I have to put his name there? They don't have salutation. They don't have the pole. They don't have non. They don't have all this record. They don't have the uniqueness of Wing Chun. Why do I have to, to, to put them as an ancestor? 
even today in the movie, they put that uh, like uh, he's the ancestor. Okay, ancestor of what? This is the cell, uh, the, the, uh, the short strike. So, so you want to, you know, I, when I read that, I really get really depressed. Because me too, right? As a young Hendrik, I respect all the Wing Chun uh, saying, oh, Feng Xiu Cheng is from this side. Tai Fa Ming Gam is from this side. And then I'll end up there. What the heck are you talking about? This is Qing people. And these people are animal. Why do I want to do anything with him? My ancestor is for the people. Imagine, were you there to be like the Suta Kai? Hey, there's a flood there. I cannot go to the river. It's not that I'm incapable. If the heaven want me to die, I die, but spare my man. So, so what is this, this, uh, this so-called Wing Chun past one of 40 years preaching? I call it bullshit, okay? Because today, in today's world, we need to know that as a human, we have to respect other people, all right? We need to help people, not to, you know, you talked about oil. So, so, so where is, uh, where is uh, uh, Wing Chun is from? Where is Wing Chun is from? Let me get this thing. Where's Wing Chun from? Shaolin Temple. With Chi Sim and Mui. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I went to check with all, you can trace my Si Gong except Go Cham. He's a Shaolin monk. My Sifu is a venerable Shenfa, he's a, a student of uh, the, the, the Shi Yin, Zen Patriarch. They are Buddhists. They don't do this bullshit, okay? So, so how long do you want to uh, uh, mess up everybody? How long we want to screw every Wing Chuners on this nonsense? You don't have the cardio, respiratory endurance, muscular endurance, the core stability and breathing. You want to fight the, the MMA friends, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the Western boxing friend and other martial arts. Are you daydreaming or are you fantasy? You want to talk about, oh, this is the ancestor of Wing Chun, Feng Xiu Cheng and all this nonsense. Are you serious? It doesn't happen in the history. They are traitor of the Wing Chun in Red Boat. They are not belong to Red Boat. So, why, why is this piece of people thing here? Why, why is all this thing keeping making his uh, story like that? They are not from Red Boat. They are from Qing side. You all know, know the truth? That's why today when I, I was watching, I, I was reading thing in the forum, Wing Chun forum, talk about the war and everything. You know, I'm not in politics. I, I, I don't want to be in any politics, but I want to be in the human side. I'm a Buddhist first, okay? And we should because Wing Chun is from, from, from Shaolin. How do we behave? So what do you think? I know I get emotion. What What do you guys think? Can you share? Yeah, I think um, in the case of Feng Xiaoqing, uh, 
it's so complicated because people they look for their ancestors and they they want that is the stamp of a stamp of authenticity right but nobody wants to go deeper nobody wants to question deeper no one no one is interested in looking deeper into the history why the same reason i was talking about before because if for them it's boring really they ha- they don't have the minimum interest to to they, they prefer to talk about things which are vague or not clear or mystical or magical and have a mythology of an origin rather than dig deeper into history right that so it's a real shame because you have a lot of talented teachers that may be uh, athletic very born gifted so maybe they do things naturally maybe they have they have good cardio respiratory uh, talent maybe they have good uh, ability good mobility but what they transmit to their students is half of the story okay and that's because um because they they haven't been exposed or they haven't had the opportunity maybe to to gain this information or maybe they're just not interested and they just want to make money so for these two reasons uh the the this thing is being recycled okay and the problem is now is that if we're interested in in learning a traditional chinese martial art uh i think it's inseparable that we apart from learning the art we should also be interested in the history it's for me it's, it's like that, okay right now let me ask you a question say if today i flip i flip to xu xiao dong side to call wing chun is a fake martial arts fake kung fu anybody can hold me anybody in the past 140 years or any grandmaster can hold me to crush the entire wing chun with all these stories evident I just have to go 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 say to uh to Xi Xiaodong. It pissed me off. I I just flip. Let's clean the mess up. Can anybody stop me? It's not fighting me anymore. This is history evidence. Yeah, and to answer that question, I think there's a lot of people in the last 20, 15, 10 years that in the West, for example, that are sick of hearing or listening to the mythologies or trying to work things out. And they've gone to BJJ, they've gone to boxing, they've gone to uh, a more scientific way or athletic way or modern way of training because it has more answers and they don't have to engage with uh some vague difficult history it's easier for them to make money like that so why wouldn't you you know if this is the answer so 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 the the issue right now is this right wing chun have value yes a lot of values you know guy knows okay even there 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 are area which is uh, today's modern sports science didn't cover like the 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 the, the, the health part and so forth so forth right and then the graduate and everything people want to make money there's no problem but don't mess up every other people don't mess up the history don't mess up the wing chun and and so that's why i say become victims of victims the guy uh, uh, was educated that way he's going to pass down to his student like that way so for me is i look at that this is history this is a real wing chun why don't you guys take it expand it you guys are solid ground with the sports and history expand it make as much money you want based on real stuff and you become real grandmaster it's like nobody tell you that stanford university or harvard university or oxford university's professor cannot make uh, big money nobody say that you can make you you deserve to make the money But I look at all this thing I just uh, often I I ask myself if I flip to see or don't say bringing all this document how much damage do you think I can do and who can stop me even you get the best grandmaster in the past 140 years who can stop me from that because I mark that in the history 
you are over, finish. But I didn't I, do that. I think the problem is, Hendrik, you're fighting against uh, popular coach. To, uh, fr a franchise of, of three Ip Man films. Uh, uh, people don't have the interest or the time or the energy to be able to be interested in these things. So, it, you know, mm, it's not about fighting wars anymore. They, they, it's not about saving their life anymore. And that, that's the dangerous thing. Because when you're talking about health, martial arts, self-defense, uh, then really that's what you're talking about, saving your life and preserving your health. Now, but <laughs> these people, I understand, these people is uh, making money is the bottom line, okay? So you now time is almost up. So for me is that it's time to stop all this nonsense, okay? For those who have consciences that we are wing tuners, we're not going to let our ancestor or the young generation screwed. See you guys. See you. Bye-bye.